welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. So on today's show, I will be taking callers live, answering their questions about life, love, finances, career. Anything you want to ask, you can ask. I will also be taking um, questions on YouTube chat. So for those of you who are new here, uh, this show does air on TV, WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, and another a number of other a number of other streaming channels. Yep, that's how it's said, girl. <laughs> um, it also um, airs on almost every single podcast and radio stations. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me, there are links in the bio. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. I do a plethora of healings on TikTok and clearing. So if you're on TikTok, catch up with me there. Um, you get a ton of free healings and clearings. Um, and a number of other social media um, things. So, whew, okay. In a moment, I'm going to get the, st the show started. I will start taking callers. If you would like to join the show live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday for a minimum of 30 minutes. I try to make it 60 and I, um, you can call in and ask questions at 845-277- 9131. If you are watching, you can, uh, if you want to watch live, you can watch on YouTube. YouTube Live. That's where I am. Yes. Okay. So before we get started, I want to say hello to everybody on YouTube Live. Thank you guys for being here. Um, everybody's here today. I love it. Uh, Shell, Steve, Patrick, um, Sal, Heather, Frankie, Genevieve, I need to scroll up a little bit to catch everybody. Vaughn, a number of other people are here joining us live on YouTube. Thank you so very much for spending this time with me. And um, the songs I was hearing this morning and the way the songs work is songs are always messages from loved ones on the other side. And the first song I woke up to this song um, <clears throat> I clear my throat as though that's going to make me a better singer. It is not. The first song I woke up to was that song in my head. In my head, in my head. They're all whatever. Um, all the, I can hear the song in my head, in my head. Um, they are fighting with their guns and their tanks. And there's something I can't hear all of the words as they're bringing it through. But yes, <clears throat> that was the song I woke up to. So someone on the other side wanted to make sure that I brought that song through. If somebody you know on the other side either. And the message I got with that song um, was not. Maybe this was this person's song. Maybe they loved this song. But the bigger message I got was that they couldn't take what was going on in their head any longer. Um, the constant conflict in their head. Okay. So whoever that message is for, um, that the song may be relevant or the content of the song may be relevant. The second song is, I don't know what you heard about me, but you can't get a dollar out of me. Something P-I-M-P. -I I'm a mother effing P-I-M-P. -I That's it. And that just makes, to go from one to the other, it just makes me laugh so freaking hard because then they were like having a song battle going back and forth. No, my song. No, my song. And you both, you're both up right here. We got you both. Um, hey, Amy. Uh, Patrick. Hey, Genevieve. Um, the random person. I know, right? It's so funny, right? Okay. And then the the what the last song I heard this morning prior to coming on was 
here come the hot stepper word. And I know these words aren't really probably correct, but just um, me, I know the song is called Hot Stepper. Um, I think it's called Hot Stepper. Um, but me singing it, even if I'm singing the wrong words, sometimes I think people know what song it is. So if your loved one loved that song, they're bringing that song to you. And then the one person's name, I only heard one name this morning, and it was Michaela, 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 Michaela. And um, I'm hearing, I love you, Michaela. I love you, Michaela. So that is the messages that I was getting this morning. Um, I went on this morning and I put a healing on TikTok for psychological health. And um, I think it was psychological help or like something psychological. And then I did this little thing that I just want to elaborate for two seconds right now on. Um, when we get into a relationship with someone, when we start a relationship or we're in a relationship, um, we're always worried about if we're sexually compatible with the person. That's, that is, it's a valid concern. Like, we want to make sure the yin and the yang are yinging and yanging copacetically, nicely. We like the same things, right? So we're always in a hurry to um, <clears throat> make sure we're sexually, some people are, um, sorry, my nose is itching, um, make sure that we are sexually compatible, right? But the problem with this is, here's here's one of the small little bitties with that, is once you sexually sex somebody, I don't, <laughs> once you have sex with somebody, the bonding starts. So we create emotional bonds. And, you know, women, we know three times um, all that uh good juices, not those good juices, these good juices in our head, um, the dopamine releases from by the third time, which is a, a chemical thing. It's been scientifically proven. We are connected and in love with this person. We want to make sure going into relationships as much as sexual compatibility is important, we also want to make sure that we are emotionally, psychologically, um, mentally, financially, spiritually um, compatible with this person also. Now, I'm going to use financial as an example. We want to make sure we're financially compatible in a way that, you know, we both we both don't have to have the same amount of money, but we should have like similar financial beliefs and financial spending habits and patterns. If one person... Um, is trying to save and the other person's a spender, that might, that's not a, co a financial compatibility. If one person wants to build like this uh, certain thing um, or, you know, believes in, dis let's just, I, I don't know. I'm just going to use that for an example. Now, emotional and psychological and mental, we want to make sure we're, we're equally healthy in those areas. And strong and mature in those areas. And we can only find that out with a little bit of time and um, conversation. We want to make sure we're intellectually compatible with the person that we want to be sexually compatible with. If we're not intellectually compatible, yeah, the sex is good, but the rest of the time we're either going to be fighting or have nothing to talk about. So these are really important things to consider moving forward in a relationship. So please, um, just a little food for thought for you uh, in your relationship. And if you're not compatible on a level with somebody, it doesn't mean that can't happen. It means work on it. Work on it. That means, okay, I recognize these are also goals in the relationship other than the big O's. So we're going to work on these things too. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to start to take colors. Oh! <laughs> I'm such a dork, but I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. Okay. Um, uh, when I call out your area code, 
um, please let me know um, what your what's your first name and where you are calling from, and then have a question ready for me. The way I I get into your um, your energy is by starting with a question. It's almost like you giving me permission to to work. That's just the way I work. I know I'm a weirdo. Okay. I'm going to go to the first caller. I want to say hey to Stevie, my brother. And I also want to say happy birthday, Gianna. My niece's birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to go to 814. 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Awesome, Amy. How can I help and you today? My yeah, go ahead, love. My question is, I got a job offer, and I... I just want to make sure, do you see everything going, like, everything going well with the job? Okay, so the first thing They're I They're doing hear, their background check right now. Uh, okay, I want to make a joke, but, but I'm going to tell you the first thing I heard is you're in okay. like, you're in like <laughs> Flynn. Okay, you're in like Flynn, whatever that means. So the background check, I'm going to guess the background check is going to go well. I feel like you are in like Flynn. I feel like you're going to do really well at this position. I feel like you are going to have, um, I'm not going to call it luck because it's not luck. It's, it's divine timing and you deserve this because you've paid your dues, you've put everything in. I am going to say it's going to go really well. It's going to be like us, uh, pretty smooth. The first week, you're going to have a, 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 it's going to be chaotic, but not at the job, like for you personally, like maybe you're, um, you're going to be okay. a little bit stressed going in and be wondering constantly, am I good enough? So right now, let's do this for you, everybody watching, re-watching, listening, re-listening. Re um, we're going to do the, uh, I think, feel, no, believe I'm good enough. I get a note, we're going to clear that. And I instantly feel that in my tummy. I never feel it in my tummy. But that's nervousness, right, folks? Oh, let's clear all of that out. Like, get it out. And then... Um, all that started this, wherever, whatever started this has healed. I get a note. Let's let's uh, clear that and heal that. All that's kept it here has healed and cleared. I get a note. Let's get let's get rid of all of this because we are we are like we are not put in rooms, jobs with people we are not supposed to be with. OK, if if never think something is better than you, because if you were put there, your chair was there before you were, you're supposed to be there. That's your space. Okay. Um, so I want you to be filled with confidence. So we're going to do the next healing and or clearing. I am self-confident. I get a no. And when I'm testing it, I'm testing for everybody that is listening, watching, would listen and watch. So um, maybe some of you are self-confident and um, that's awesome. This will just strengthen that. But Obviously, someone is not. So let's heal and clear that. All that started this oh, has cleared and healed. I get a no. So let's uh, heal and clear that. Okay, Amy, um, come back and listen to this again. It's uh, at about the 12 and a half minute mark of the show. And for anybody who wants to replay either one of these, it's at about the 12 and a half minute mark of the show. I'm going to tell you on, every, for those of you who are new to my show, yes, I answer questions. I love answering questions. I, I will connect you with loved ones on the other side. I love doing that. But I also want us all to be healthy, happy, functioning, little beings running around on this big old plane. So my show, every single show is full of healings and clearing. So if you go back and listen to other shows, you will find phenomenal healings and clearings as well as on TikTok. Okay, I hope that was helpful, love. Was that helpful for you? Did that answer you? Yes. Okay, beautiful yes, girl. It does. Thank you. No, thank you for calling in. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day um, and a congratulations, okay, love? Thank you.
You are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. If you would like to be one of my callers today, 845-277-9131 is the number. Oh, you can also ask questions on YouTube if you would like to. The next caller is 405-405. Oh, what's your name? Where are you from? This is Shelly P, and I'm in Oklahoma. Hey, Shelly. How can I help you today? <laughs> I'm already getting emotional. Oh, um, I wanted to see if you can connect my brother, Matt, and see if he has a message for me. Okay, yes. Okay, so Shelly, I instantly am hearing the song. Oh, and I'm getting goosebumps. I'm instantly hearing the song I was talking about. In your head, in your head. They are, is it dying or crying? Zombie, yeah. Okay. By zombie, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, um, first I want to ask you, do you have a question, comment, something you want to ask him, like a what, a, I keep getting like a why, what do you want to know from him? He's good. He's good. I've, oh my God, the goosebumps. I feel like I need to pull one of the 20 blankets on my couch over me right now. Um, he's here. He's His energy is very strong. Please tell me, what do you ask him? What do you want to know from him for real, for real? If he forgives me. Absolutely. He's saying there's nothing to be forgiven. There's nothing to be forgiven. You, there's nothing. There's nothing to be forgiven. That's what he says. That's what, okay. That, he's saying this. This is what he's saying. That's what kids do. That's what siblings do. That's that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. You didn't do. There's nothing to be forgiven. And he. Okay. So if he's going even a step further. He's saying this, and I hope this helps you. He's saying, I know who I was. I know who I was, and I know how I was. So he is taking stock in his part of it. He's like taking responsibility for his part of this. Okay, love? He's taking he says, okay. it, it, and then this, the other statement he's saying, it always, it takes, uh, he's singing this song, it takes two, it takes two, me and you. So it's, it, he's like saying, it always takes two, whether it goes right, wrong, indifferent, everything takes two people. N nothing, nothing is always on one person. And he, I feel like, um, Was I and sh and, and sh I'm sorry, but I'm I'm just gonna ask: Was his mind, as far as you know, was his mind okay? And there's a reason I'm asking this. Okay. Was um, sweetie, that that was a question. Was his mind okay prior to his passing? Was his mind okay? Um. He he was conflicted yeah yeah so that song makes perfect sense yeah. and what i said in the beginning of the show when i was talking about that show about that song with somebody in their mind they were not so don't in your head yeah, yeah in your head don't take this on this was this is his this was this was seriously his okay so don't take it on that it was um this had anything to do with you. This was all. It, it uh, um. I think I, you get what I'm saying, right? You understand what he's saying, not yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. what he's saying, right? So please, no, he is. He is telling you. He, uh, the biggest message he could give you right now is, "I'm at peace. I'm finally at peace. All the voices, um, have all the conflict. All, all of it has stopped. Am I?" I I am at peace, not am I at peace, but I am at peace. I am at peace and I am, I am good. I am good. Okay, love? Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Thank you so much. You are so welcome and he wants you to know he loves you. 
he please don't <laughs> he loves you so much and you have more than you can handle on your plate and he he gets that okay love okay thank you uh, all I, right thank you so much for your time you are so welcome and i hope this was helpful for you all right thank you so much you are so welcome um, and thank you so much for calling in. The next caller is going to be 203. I just want to go. Um, uh, if I found my purpose or am I? Erin on YouTube wants to know what career do you see me in? Have I found my purpose or am I hindering my potential? Okay, Erin, I'm going to say to you. You have found your purpose. Is she working in her purpose? Not quite yet. You're on your way there. Um, where you are now is a stepping stone to your where you're going to be with your purpose. So keep going. Um, this is one step and then um, you'll be there soon. And Erin, when you say, have I found my purpose? I don't know why I see this now. I see a book. Now, this could mean you're supposed to write books. Um, this could mean maybe you teach reading or teach, um, but something with books is part, part of your purpose, part of your purpose. Erin, it's not your whole purpose. You don't have one thing as your purpose. You have several things as your purpose. I'm going to go to 203 now. 203, what's your name, little girl? What's your name? I'm sorry, 203. <laughs> Hello, 203. Okay, we're going to go to the next caller, um, who is 856. And maybe they didn't like my song. <laughs> <laughs> five six <laughs> what's your name Where are you Hi, calling how are from? You? i'm good how are you love i'm doing good uh Ruth maria from jersey um i don't know what messages i've been getting it's kind of weird the last couple of weeks um the 28th i got two missed calls but color ID, id blocked and i don't know who it is and I was at work last Friday and I get a call and I don't know who it was. It was trying to get a hold of me at work. They don't usually call there, but I was wondering what messages is supposed to mean about that. Your name is Rosemary, right? Right. Thank you. Um, instantly, um, Okay, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, uh, right now, I'm just spending a second figuring out, is this, um, I hear, uh, now, this is, uh, this is what I'm going to say. It's, um, there's a, there's a grandma on the other side that's trying to let you know she's with you now i first of all this might be the call this might not be the call but there's a grandma on the other side that's trying to let you know she is with you and i feel like it's the grandma who's been on the other side the longest that's the message i'm getting if you have more than one grandma on the other side it's the grandma who's been on the other side the longest now having said that um, what is the phone call then? I'm not sure if she's pushing the phone call through or if it's some, something else. Um, but I know there is a grandma on the other side trying to get you a message. And the message that I'm getting is, um, wow, well, that's funny. Um, the first song I hear is Don't Worry, Be Happy. And then, and I don't think I need to sing that. I think everybody knows that song. Um, and then the second thing that 
your grandmother is is saying it's a statement it's all going to take care of itself and it all comes out in the wash so whatever is going on in your life and i know right now life is not um easy for for it's not as easy as it could be for most people um it's all going to take care of itself and it all comes out in the wash so do, don't worry, everything's going to work itself out is basically what she wants you to know. And I feel like I, I'm going to ask you something. Have you been looking? Have you been trying to figure out something? Have you been trying to figure out something? Yeah, relationship to go back that first time. I'm thinking it was him that was trying to get a hold of me and try to open a business with them and stuff. And not penning out and not returning calls and all that so so get out where i'm at from work okay <laughs> so what i'm hearing is don't don't do it i can't tell people what to do i'm not personally me i'm not telling you what to do but if you're listening to your loved ones or angels on the other side um i'm hearing don't do it because it, you will regret it. Okay. Anything you want to do, you can do. You're, you're better on your own than you are. You're, you're stronger on your own. You don't, you're, you're, what I'm hearing is you have everything you need to do this. You have everything you need to do this. You don't need somebody else or First, yeah, I just hear you're better on your own. Don't don't go back. Your future is not where your butt is. <laughs> what? <laughs> your future is not in your path. Like, don't look back because that's not where your future is. You know, just keep looking forward. And I think what they meant by that is your future is not where your booty is, is that maybe they're calling that past person out saying he might be a bit of a booty, if you get what I mean, or they might be a bit of a booty, whatever that means. All I'm saying is keep looking forward. The right people will come in and not hold you hostage to things. Okay, beautiful? Okay. Okay, I hope this is helpful, and I hope that you, you listen to them because it's anything you want and that's meant for you will come together without chaos. Okay, love? And without being held hostage. And without being held hostage. Okay, beautiful? Okay. Okay, thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah. If it's ever going to happen. <laughs> Thanks. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Again, thank you everybody on YouTube, everybody who called in, everybody who's listening and watching. I just adore each and every one of you. Until next time, big hugs.